Hello again and welcome to my latest lockdown video. Uh, this one is just really to go alongside the strategy articles that I've been writing for you that Richard is putting out in the uh, daily newsletter to you all. I hope you're enjoying those. Um, and I just wanted to give you a really good physical example of what I mean by you changing your plan uh, to beat the strategy of the golf course. So on this image here behind me, you can see that it's a long par five, 512 yards. I probably can't get there in two, so I'm going to choose to take these fairway bunkers out of play. So in order to do that, it would be pointless for me to continue to hit driver, uh, and more importantly, I now need to make the fairway as wide as possible for myself um, as I'm playing the hole in a, in a three shot strategy. So how can I physically make the fairway wider? Well, I can't, but actually I can, because by using a different golf club, a more lofty club, things, uh, the effect on the golf ball changes quite radically. And I just wanted to demonstrate that to you here. So these two shots, the white vapor trail was hit with my hybrid and the orange one was hit with my driver. Now both shots uh, have gone from left to right as I play the game. Probably both of them are arguably have moved a bit too much for my liking through the air, but one of them is on the fairway and one of them isn't. The hybrid is 10 yards off the center of the fairway and the driver is 24 yards off the center of the fairway, which has put me in the thick rough down the right and now put me in trouble for playing the rest of the golf hole. But let's have a look a little bit more closely at the, at the way those shots were um, put together and it becomes really clear on why we should take more loft off the tee when we get an opportunity to do so by the design of the golf course. Okay, bear with me one second. So, now if I put up the figures from those shots here, what you can see is the top line where the cursor is, is my hybrid. And because it's got more loft on the face, it created more backspin. Wedges create more backspin than forearm, obviously. The more backspin I have, that negates the effect of the side spin. So here we can see 4,000 revs or so of backspin, 600 revs of side spin. The driver, on the other hand, created lower backspin because it has less loft, obviously, and therefore, consequently, it had more side spin, over a thousand revolutions to the right. Now, did I just hit a worse shot with my driver? Well, that's a good question, and I can explain that one by putting this slide up. Here we can see that the actual shots reveal how much more forgiving a lofty club is off the tee. So here we can see that the path of each club was very much very similar. Within half a degree they were both out to in as I play the game. This is where it gets interesting. The club face on the hybrid it was 3.7 degrees open at impact. The driver was only 3 degrees open at impact. So it's nearly 25% better in terms of how open or close the face was. So in effect, the driver technically was a better impact. But you can see, because of the lower loft on the club, it's resulted in a shot which has put me in deep trouble. And the fact that it carried 24 yards further than my hybrid, really, in this instance, the strategy of the hole is not benefiting that extra 24 yards carry, because my second shot is a layup anyway to a favorite yardage to play to the green. So just, this was really just to demonstrate the fact that using a more lofty club off the tee, it's something I see members not doing often enough. They continue to hit driver, just trying to get as far down holes as possible. Have a look at the strategy of certain holes for your ability and see if there's opportunities for you to, in effect, widen the fairway on certain shots. I always think of the 15th here as a good example. The fairway is much wider at 200 yards than it is at 230 or 40 or 50 yards. It narrows up quite significantly and if you're not going to get to the green in two or not going to risk take the risk reward of having a go at getting in two or can't get there in two why don't you take a more lofted club a three wood or a hybrid or something else off the tee every bit of loft that you add to your driving club will increase the forgiveness as it reduces the side spin anyway i hope that helps hope you can see the bigger picture and hope you keep enjoying reading the strategic articles and we look forward to seeing you all back here soon. Stay safe, take care, bye for now.